It is always a distinct pleasure walking by the grounds of the field gallery. At once, you are met with these large white structures that pierce the green landscape. These whimsical pieces elicit a sense of playfulness, which naturally invites one to explore the rest of the field gallery. How did the field gallery get started? Uh, a dinner party that sort of went awry, maybe? Um, a conversation that uh, between the founder and some friends, one of which was an architect, and the next morning they showed up and drew plans and the building was built. It's the only art gallery on Martha's Vineyard that was built to be an art gallery and has never been anything else, just an art gallery. In the 50 year legacy, um, or 49 years that the Field Gallery's been here, it's been one owner. Thomas Maley was the original founder of this gallery. So he was a sculptor, a painter, um, sort of did everything. When we took over the business um, almost 20 years ago, the idea was to sort of keep Tom's original flavor and um, ideas. Yeah, so the dancing ladies that are kind of our logo and sort of the, uh, they're kind of iconic to the vineyard and, and to this gallery. Those were his sculptures that he built solely because he had a bunch of open space and thought they would be sort of eye-catching and fun. Um, one of the mainstays of the 25 artists that we represent in this gallery is that they have some kind of island connection or some kind of connection because I think sort of, you know, travel photography of um, Africa is not really what our clientele is interested in. They want a piece of the vineyard kind of experience. 